Okay, so we are back. I'm gonna show you actually how to put the binder together. And what you're gonna wanna do is get a three ring binder like this. Uh, this is kind of what I use to send my information in. And you wanna pick up these little sleeves. So they have the three holes, but you can insert information fairly easy. Uh, it's transparent, right? So. It just slips in like so. And once you have all of your documents, you just wanna go down your list and ultimately put them all in this, in the, their each individual sleeve, right? So for example, uh, we want the actual payment and uh, form 1145, right? So that, goes in the front so we'll pretend like this is your 1145 the g1145 this is your check and all you're gonna do here's some paper clips because they don't like stapling you'll just paper clip it like so and we'll insert it just like this this will be your first, your first page, right? Your first page. Okay, so your next item, right, is the actual petition, the form. So what you can do is, you can paper clip this if you'd like. Uh, I believe I did. Or you don't have to since it's going to be in its own, its own sleeve. So this just goes in like so. Again, I, I mean, I felt this was much more organized than some of the other options. But there. So for the supplement items, so that's like the, if you didn't have room, if you had enough room on the towards the end of this document then you don't have to do this next step but this is if you had to provide extra employment uh if you had to answer some of the extra questions then this is what the supplement uh document would kind of look like you would type in or uh or write in kind of your additional answers here and then you can put this in its own sleeve as well. So that way the agent that's re re reviewing your information, they know that this is additional information and it goes with your uh, 129 F form. So that's another page and you just continue on. So I wanna actually show you the G135. So we'll pretend this is the G135A. And what you're gonna need is those passport photos. So as you can see here, I have a, a mock-up. So photo one, photo two, and you will have to get these and your future spouse will have to get these as well. So the way you're gonna attach these, this is just right here in the corner and again, Paperclip, paperclip. I highly recommend paperclipping everything. It'll make the agent's life a bit more easier. Uh, and then this goes in its own sleeve. And then you'll do the same thing for your future spouse. Photo one, photo two. Attach. This goes in its own sleeve and you continue down your, your cover, cover letter list. So you have your copy of your birth certificate. Uh, this is the copy. We'll put that in its own sleeve uh, with the letter certifying that you intend to marry. So again, it can be on 
uh, a loose leaf paper or paper like this, you can type it out, print it, or you can just uh, write it, uh, try to use black ink, but you can just write it out that you intend to marry this person uh, within 90 days of them entering into the US. Um, and then you put this in its own sleeve. And then we can go on to the proof. So proof of your relationship for the last two years. So we can pretend that this is a flight itinerary. We can say this is a hotel itinerary. Uh, you can either put them in its own sleeve or put them together, but you, you, you definitely want to paper clip it, put it in its own sleeve. And your photos, if you have your photos, you can attach the photos with the paper clip as well uh, here with the proof. And once you have all of that information, then you can insert it into the three ring binder. Uh, some people even, I believe, I, I think I labeled mine. So if you want to uh, tab and kind of write which, what each sleeve is, uh, that would just make the agent's life a little bit more easier with trying to find the information or looking through. Uh, but once you have your binder complete, you can find the mailing address for the office that you should send it to. I believe those are on the instructions, but this is how, this is kind of the binder that I used. They have thinner ones, which may be a, a bit better. I think my, I had a lot of information, so that's why I used this size, uh, but this works. It's very organized. It's easy for them to flip through. They can take it out if you paper clip it, if you staple it, then they have to take off the staples. But that's how you complete your binder and hope this helps. Be patient and you guys will get through this. Thanks for watching. Peace.